in this video I'll talk about uh, what is a linear discriminant analysis linear discriminant analysis is a linear model which is used to model the difference in groups this is a multivariate analysis uh, that means we uh, uh, we use a, a number of variables more than two variables uh, to to more than or equal to two variables rather to uh, model uh, to the modeling work so what we usually do is that uh, we build a model to separate uh, two or more classes objects or categories so uh, discriminant analysis is more like a classification technique um, like logit or a probit model to give an example uh, let's say we want to uh, classify students uh, into three categories uh, our students are in the high school and we want to know whether a student will go to college after the high school or will go to a trade school or uh, discontinue the education after high school there are uh, three categories um, there must be some pattern right some pattern must be there between the uh, different categories of students and how do we categorize them we can use discriminant analysis to categorize them um, we collect uh, information on family background academic information and uh, use the linear discriminant analysis to find out whether a particular student is, is going to go to a college or a trade school or is going to discontinue education that is where uh, LDA uh, is used uh, one more example is uh, we want to uh, you know discriminate between a male and a female um, based on height well <clears throat> usually the average height of a male uh, average height of male population is higher than the average height of a female population okay so there is a difference in in, in the mean so looking at the height we, we can say that uh, if a particular human being is a male or a uh, female we can uh, be uh, wrong uh, sometimes but uh, most of the times will be uh, right or, or a majority of time we will be uh, right so height is one variable that discriminates between the categories male and female so height is one variable so we can have several variables we can combine them and then we can use them uh, to discriminate uh, two categories that's how we use uh, discriminant analysis um, let's uh, learn about the theory uh, as I said discriminant analysis is done by comparing the means of the variables we take several independent variables uh, and then we see whether the there is a difference in the mean for a dif a different categories like in the uh, previous example uh, the mean height of male and female population is uh, different so height is one variable that explains the difference between the two categories similarly we can have several uh, such variables which uh, explains the difference and then we can club them and combine them in such in some way uh, to come up with a score that discriminates between two categories um, one of the assumption is that the uh, variable that we are selecting or the information that we are selecting uh, which will help us uh, segregating the categories should be normally distributed so the independent variables uh, should be normally distributed and uh, you know that uh, to be distributed normally the variable should be a continuous variable so we cannot use categorical variables or the ordinal that kind of variables uh, in the uh, LDA linear discriminant analysis and then the there is an assumption of uh, homogeneous variance uh, the variances uh, of the variables should be homogeneous so that is like the uh, assumption of uh, homoscedasticity uh, it the computer's method is like this uh, we create uh, an equation which minimizes the possibility of misclassification cases into respective groups okay so iteratively we man minimize uh, the misclassification and we choose the best set of variables the best set of combination weightage uh, or the weights um, in order to ensure that the misclassification is minimized uh, mathematically it involves a linear equation um, you can see on the screen 
that is a discriminant function d which is a linear combination of your variables variables uh, response score and uh, uh, there is uh, there is a set of weights a1 to uh, ai uh, you have uh, i number of discriminant variables so there are uh, you know i plus one number of estimates um, pretty much similar to your regression coefficient but not exactly though but very analogous to them and then you have a constant uh, um, which is b in this equation this uh, the main purpose of the discriminant function is to find it out that how is the difference what is the difference uh, in terms of the expectation of or the mean of the different groups okay based on that we categorize so that essentially uh, what is done uh, uh, mathematically it's a uh, it's a very uh, uh, powerful technique classification technique uh, but though the limitation is that uh, that we cannot use categorical variables that's one uh, limitation it's used in segmenting uh, customers uh, you know segmenting patients uh, and then students customers uh, we segregate customers into bad customers good customers uh, we segregate uh, patients into um, high risk patients low risk patients so that that is uh, where we use uh, the uh, linear discriminant analysis and um, that is where we use linear discriminant analysis uh, we will see in another session how to uh, do it uh, in SAS